Hello everybody, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from DSEI Japan at Chiba. And we have with us somebody we've always been talking about, which is the Mitsubishi Heavy Industry representative here. We are here with Harumi Mizokami, who is the General Manager, Advanced System Programs, Department Integrated Defense and Space Systems with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited. Mitsubishi is a very, very popular name in India and uh, welcome to, to our chat room. It's wonderful to have you here. Oh, thank you so much. So this is DACI Japan, a very major event for us, a very major event for the region and the world. So what is Mitsubishi? showcasing here so actually this uh, DSCI Japan 2023 is our second exhibition at the uh, DSCI in Japan so we MH Mitsubishi Heavy Industry is a leading defense company in Japan and we already delivered some uh, frontline defense equipment to Japan Defense Force but for this exhibition, we are showing our new capability uh, utilizing the innovative technology and MHA's cultivated technologies. And uh, since it's the second day now to the show, ma'am, what is the sort of footfall you've had? Have a lot of delegations come and uh, what, what have you been showcasing to them? Because there are international delegations. Oh yes. Well, yesterday we had we have um, getting uh, so many delegations from outside Japan, and it was very, it is very honor for us to yes, invite that delegation, and we can show our capability to them. So we are very happy for that. When you say you can show your capability, ma'am, what does it mean? What are you showcasing? Yes, so this time we are bringing our new area technologies such as a cyber security solution for critical infrastructure and a new uh, prototype but the counter UAV uh, laser system, something like that. Okay, and um, are, are these for all the three forces? Yes, sure. For all the three forces. Yes. Now, uh, along with the forces, there is also a concept of police. Do they also use the same products? Uh, some of them are, uh, yes, already used by them. And also some of them, we want to uh, deliver them. So it's still uh, under development and we are promoting to the self-defense force. And what, uh, what is the equipment which is attracting the most attention at the show? You have one called the whale next uh, to your stall. And uh, you know, I see people coming and taking pictures. Mm -hmm. So what is it? What is it all about? What is the product? Ma? Uh, yes, for me, it seems the laser system is attracting the many people's attention. And also the Amand vehicle system is also uh, many people are interested in. But um, yes, but um, the many people who came to our booth had showed uh, interesting to all of our exhibit exhibit. And this exhibit which you have just outside, uh, which is a little uh, ferry-like thing, a boat-like thing, which also has a UAV on top. Huh? Yes. So what is that? That UAV is also made by uh, Mitsubishi, ma'am? Yes, sure. So can you please tell us something more about that product? Uh -huh, okay. So the UAV, the unmanned air vehicle and USB unmanned surface vessel are our product. And first, they... Uh, develop, they were developed um, separately, but uh, for this exhibition, we integrate this unmanned vehicle together with our um, con control systems. So, if you use that uh, control system, we named it Force Titan, uh, you can uh, integrate much type of uh, unmanned vehicles and you can control and use, utilize them with very small number of people. And apart from uh, Japanese uh, defense forces, your products are there in which other defense forces, ma'am? Um, they are still development, under development, 
So we are now promoting to Japan Defense Force and other uh, agency or industries uh, who may have interested in them. Right. And is there anything else you would like to talk about your products? Um, yes. So we already developed, uh, we already delivered the conventional uh, defense equipment, but we are now focusing on the on creating and promoting a new area and which we uh, we have been bringing to this show. So we, I'd like to talk about our new capability. Yes, so the, I, we, we are utilizing AI or IT technology and so we will bring the new um, equipment, not only the hardware one, but together with the software, IT, um, technology as well. And this is all indigenous, ma'am, or this supply chain for Mitsubishi is also across the world? Also. The supply chain mm -hmm. is, uh, is it totally Japanese or is it uh, across the world? Uh, some of them, we have a, uh, uh, yes, we are cooperating with the uh, company outside Japan, but some, uh, many of uh, Japan is inside the supply chain. Thank you very much, ma'am. It was wonderful speaking with you. And uh, next time when we are here for DSEI Japan, I'm sure Mitsubishi will have a lot more to tell us. Thank you so much. Thank you.